Hey everybody, Josh Hartman here. Today I wanted to go over quickly how you can profile a PHP application such as WordPress using xdebug and wincache grind on xamp for Windows. So the first thing we need to do is enable xdebug and that's actually included with xamp. So let's go into the xamp installation directory and go to PHP directory and open up the PHP INI and go ahead and find the xdebug section and once there you want to uncomment the zend extension line there and this is going to load that PHP extension and then down here a little farther we'll get some settings here to enable it now there are two settings here there's the xdebug profiler enable and what that'll do is enable the profiler for every single script that you load and and every load of it so we want to try to avoid that that can hurt performance and you don't usually need it all the time so we're going to use this xdebug profiler enable trigger and set that to one and what this is going to do is it'll only profile the scripts that we add the xdebug underscore profile git or post parameter to so that can be helpful and note this profiler output directory this is where our profiles will be generated now here in the profiler output name this is what our profile names or out our profile files will be named so let's change this to cache grind dot out dot variable u dot variable h underscore variable r and what this is going to do for us is it's going to add the timestamp in microseconds the host http host name and the request uri so that'll make it easy to identify which files are coming from which scripts so let's go ahead and save that close out of this and go to the xamp control panel and let's restart Apache so let's stop it first and then restart it and let's make sure Apache is still running correctly let's check the PHP info and if we scroll down here to the X section here there's X debug so it's loading now so that's a good sign. Now I have an installation of WordPress on here. So let's go ahead and check that out. And it's loading kind of slow. So let's figure out why that is. First we need to go and get WinCache Grind. Now you can download that by going to Google, put in WinCache Grind, find their SourceForge page and then go ahead and download that. I've already done that. So it's in my downloads directory. And what you download is the actual application, not an installation. So you want to move this into your xamp directory. I like to create another folder inside xamp called wincache grind. and put it in there and then go ahead and open it up and then in the options set the working folder to that xamp temporary directory so that it'll look in the right place each time all right we're done with that for now so close that out And now on this page here, if we wanted to profile it, we would put the and sign and debug profile. Let that load. And once it loads, we'll have our cache grind file. So let's check that. Let's go to XAMP and the temp directory. And we have one right there, just created. So now we can go back to win cache grind, open that up. 
and then that file is listed here and if we open up the file name some more you can see that it's got that timestamp on there the host name and the request wordpress page id 2 and then it had the x debug profile in there so open up that file and you can see it took about six and a half seconds which is pretty long for a local host installation of WordPress. So you can drill down in here and find out where the problem is, what's taking up all that time. And if we dig down far enough, it says it's in the functions.php and this it's a sleep function. So that's our culprit there. And if you right click on it, you can actually open the file in the editor that contains that function. And it's right there. So I put that in earlier so we could find it and that helped us do that. So if we save this now, close out of that, and if we refresh this page just the way it is, it should come up a lot quicker than it did. Now we have another file and you can see which one's newer here by both the timestamp and by the modified date over there. Let's open up that latest one. So now it says it only took one and a half seconds. So that's how you profile PHP applications. In this, in this case, we did WordPress, but it would apply to anything else. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.